Hey guys, Phil here. Hope you're all well. What you're looking at in front of you is my perfectly working Commodore Amiga 500 from back in the day. <laughs> yeah, it's working fine. It's playing a bit of Turrican. Uh, what I want to do today uh, is a little bit of a guide, uh, especially for people who have uh, GoTech drives uh, like I do uh, with Flash Floppy. Uh, now, you may not be aware of this, but you can actually load genuine Commodore Amiga disk images uh, using uh, the GoTech and Flash Floppy. Uh, but there's a, a little bit of a problem. Um, preserved Commodore Amiga disk images are stored in IPF format. Uh, and that stands for Interchangeable Preservation Format. Um, now, sadly, the GoTech uh, and Flash Floppy cannot directly load IPF files. Um, it just simply doesn't have the processing power to do that. But what we can do is we can take those IPF files and we can convert them to HFE. And HFE is perfectly readable uh, in the GoTech drive. Uh, so yeah, if you want to know how you take genuine Commodore Amiga floppy disk images in IPF format and convert them to HFE, to use uh, on the GoTech or Flash Floppy, stick around and I'll show you how you do that. Now, before I start the tutorial, guys, I just want you to be aware um, please don't be asking where to get these uh, genuine Amiga floppy disk images from. Um, I'm simply uh, not going to tell you, uh, you'll be wasting your time. Uh, so please don't be asking in the comments below uh, where to get uh, these genuine Commodore Amiga floppy disk images from. So I'm all ready to go. Uh, now I'm going to assume two things. One, uh, you've got your IPFs disk images ready to go. And two, you've got some form of zip extraction, whether that be a WinZip, uh, a WinRAR or 7-Zip to extract files. Let's get converting those IPF files. Um, now the first thing I need to do is I need to download a couple of files so I can start converting those IPF files. And the first website I want to go and visit is HXC2001. Uh, this contains the actual um, software used to convert the files so I'm just going to actually add over there now and I'm just going to type in HXC and there you can see it HXC floppy emulation software that's what we need and um, we'll go over to the website just here and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and I'm looking for HXC floppy emulator soft and that's the file I need and I'm just going to save that to my hard drive. What I want to do now is head over to the Software Preservation Society's webpage and go to their download section um, because I need to download uh, an actual plugin, the IPF plugin. I'm just going to go home. I'm going to write in software preservation and it's come up already there you can see it's there I'm just going to click on that and there's software preservation society I'm going to click on that now I'm going to head over to the download section just here and you can see there's the IPF support library now what I want to go and do is download uh, that file and there it is we're going to use the latest version I press download and again I'm just going to save that to my hard drive and that's both those files downloaded now I've got those two files downloaded I can actually set uh, the environment up so I can actually convert the IPFs to HFE so let's go ahead and do that now I'm going to be using WinRAR to extract the files like I said you can use it your favorite uh, extraction program 7-zip uh, WinZip whatever uh, you like using so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first start with the HFC floppy software. I'm going to extract that here. 
and there you go it's extracted I'm going to go in and rename it uh, just makes it uh, a lot better I'm just going to go into the actual software folder obviously I'm using Windows and I'm going to cut all the files from that folder and I'm going to paste it into the root directory just there like that uh, now I can actually delete uh, these two as I don't need them anymore what I want to do now is go into the zip file I got from the Software Preservation Society's webpage. Uh, the reason I need to do that is because I need to copy over uh, a couple of plugins and they are CAPS IMG DIL and CAPS IMG LIB. And I'm just going to copy both of those files over to the root uh, of HSC floppy emulation folder. Uh, and that's it. We don't need those uh, two files, zip files anymore. We can get rid of them. What I'm going to do now is actually extract the Amiga disk images in, in IPF form I want. As you can see, I've gone into my no intro folder and there's my no intro Amiga ROM set. Now, obviously, I don't need uh, the BIOS files. These are the kickstart images. I don't need them. Um, all I need is the actual disk images and there's quite a lot of them. And I'm just going to select them all and I'm going to go to extract files obviously I'm using WinRAR to do this just give it a few seconds to grab all the files and there we go all the files are grabbed what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tell it where I want to extract the files and I'm going to put them on D drive Commodore Amiga and I'm going to name the folder IPF uh, so I know these are the IPF files and I'm just going to let WinRAR extract all those files uh, and then when it's done I'll come back and that's all my disk images extracted here it is here's the folder that I extracted them into and as you can see they're all IPF format and there's quite a few of them <laughs> So okay, that's the IPF folder created. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy that name. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm just going to paste it in there, but I'm going to call this one HFE. And that's it. I've got two Commodore Amiga folders now, one called IPF and one called HFE. So let's start converting them. Now I'm going to start the HXC floppy software uh, now obviously you can do these files individually uh, you'd be crazy to do that thankfully there's a batch converter uh, just here you can see that there and I'm going to use that uh, to, to convert the files uh, now it's very important here guys uh, you can see the target file format is selected HFE SD HXC floppy emulate and file format now if you select that and you leave it on the default what you'll find is a lot of games will work a lot of games won't work um, there's a different format target format we have to choose uh, and I'm going to show you that now and what we do is we just go into the target format selector just here and we'll change that to HFE rev free experimental uh, that's what we need to change it to uh, don't be leaving it on the default it's not going to work now the next thing i want to choose is my source folder where my ipf disk images are and i'm just going to go down to d drive and there it is the commodore amiga ipfs i'm going to select that folder and the next is the target or destination folder and obviously that's going to be our hfe folder uh, and there it is just there and I'm going to select that and that's it we're pretty much ready to go all I've got to do now is press the convert button so uh, I'm just going to sit here and wait for all those files uh, to get converted uh, and then I'll come back and as you can see we're all converted 5750 files 
converted. That's a lot of files. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close this down because uh, we're finished now. In fact, I'm just going to delete this now because we don't need it anymore because uh, the files are converted. And here's our HF e files, all nicely converted, all ready to go uh, on our USB stick for our GoTech. Now, what I did uh, off camera was obviously I went and put them on the USB stick uh, and what I did was I renamed them and I put them in um, alphabetical folders. Uh, it just makes life a lot easier when you're searching for a game. Uh, you don't have to go through a massive list of 5,000 games if you, <laughs> you know, if you put them in, a, in folders like this. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Uh, super simple not difficult to do um, and they're ready to go all those original discs uh, on your usb stick uh, and be loaded on the gotech and i'm back and wasn't too difficult to convert those files from ipf to hfe as you can see i've got my crack games and they're in the adf format and i've got my original amiga floppy disk images they're in HFE format so uh, let's load again and I'm going to load a genuine uh, Amiga floppy disk game and I'm going to choose my favorite and everybody else's favorite Chuck Rock and it's super simple I'm just going to load both disks uh, into the Gotex memory bank. I'm gonna go save and reboot and we're rebooting and you can hear my Gotex drive I've enabled the buzzer And there you go look how quick you know, that loaded up uh, no crack tro, no intro uh, straight uh, from the original uh, Amiga disk image Okay, let's skip uh, the intro and it should ask me for disc 2 uh, in a second there we go I'm just gonna change the disc to 2 and press fire and we all know what's coming next And there we go, baby. <laughs> so yeah, and that's how you take uh, original Commodore Amiga floppy disk images in IPF format and convert them to HFE. Uh, so it can be loaded uh, on the GoTech uh, with flash floppy. So yeah, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe, all the usual stuff. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Tune. <laughs> I'll catch you next time, guys.